What is up guys, Ronnie here, your go-to Canva guru. Today, we continue our series and discover what's hot in Canva. So, special episode today for you. We discover and we discuss everything that's new with Canva and I have a jam-packed episode for you. This is episode three, so by all means, if you like this series, go and watch the previous episode. We will link that back in the description below. And today, I have for you one new template category, one photography for highlights, two new features, and a special tip. So let's just get to it. All right, the first thing I want to talk about is a new series of templates because, you know, on social media, you might have noticed this trend of using carousels or using multiple page Instagram posts where you can swipe and just see other pages. Same thing on LinkedIn. You can use these multi-page posts to kind of create a story. Some people go fancy and they make graphics that kind of connect between the two slides. So Canva has jumped on that trend as well and you can now search in the template library so this is the canva homepage. let me go and switch to the templates right here so if i go to templates and search here for multi-page instagram post and you will find these templates so canva has a selection here ready for you so let's go ahead and explore these a little bit so of course if you click on one what's going to happen is that canva will open this window and you can preview the the template from here. You can use the different pages here or you can simply click on the individual pages to see what the template looks like. So you see a consistent look and feel across these are eight pages and I believe every template will have eight different pages but on Instagram the limit is 10 slides, 10 pages. So if you want to add two more feel free and you can very easily duplicate some of these pages. So this is what I wanted to show you. Let's go ahead and explore a bit more of these. I really like this one. One, for example, let me show you. This one is about climate change, but I like how clean and minimalistic this one is. You see the window here showing. So this could be very good and it uses a large photo in the background. This one looks really cool because they have used a same kind of photo filters on the photos that you see in the background and color scheme. It's in the blue, gray, brownish kind of earthy colors to represent the theme of climate sustainability. So if you want to use that, just click on that purple button, use this template, you will be redirected to the editor, which is really common practice. And then you can start tweaking these templates. Okay, so let's explore a few more. And then I will show you the pro tip for today. So you see some more colorful ones like the gradient one, I explored one, which was this one right here. So this one goes from a blue and green gradient all the way to the orange, you go all the way there. So this could really catch your viewers attention on Instagram like these really flashy colors could really get you to stop the scroll with these images with this carousel. So by all means search for these. They are called multi-page Instagram post. They will work on Facebook. They will work on Instagram and on LinkedIn. So be creative. That was the first thing I wanted to talk to you about today. This new category of templates. There is a pro tip for you to kind of expand the field of what's possible in terms of multi-page post for LinkedIn or for Instagram. And that pro tip involves a pro feature. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to go back to my templates page right here. Instead of searching for multi-page Instagram post, I'm going to just simply search for presentation. I will get to this page right here and I have multiple like sub menus here that allow me to filter my search a bit deeper. Canva is really going hard on presentation. So now you have presentations for education, marketing, professional, brand, guidelines, etc, etc. One filter I like to use is the cool feature. So you click here and you have this kind of trendy color popping presentation here that you can use. So if I go ahead and want to explore this, I can click the three little dots, preview this template and see if this would work for what I'm trying to do. What I'm trying to do is to convert this presentation into a multi page Instagram post. And by all means, this is a tip that was given to me or inspired by 
a friend of mine from the Czech Republic. Her name is Lenka. She runs a Facebook community in the Czech Republic. So Lenka Koates. If you're watching this, thank you. This tip is inspired by you. So I'm um, really happy to share this with our audience here on the channel. So the tip is to choose a presentation. For example, let's use this one. This one is about music. It's a test. I'm going to use this template. It's going to load in the Canva editor. So you get here, you get the first page. What you need to do is to apply all 19 pages. So I'm going to do this so that Canva loads one of each slide on my 19 different pages. So you see now this grid view here indicates 19 slides on this document. So what I will do quickly is get rid of the pages I don't want. So for this, I'm going to select them. So this one I don't want. I'm going to hold my shift button and select more. And I want to keep exactly eight slides here, keeping the color schemes, of course, but also just want to delete the slides that I don't want. So let's delete this and see where we stand. So once we selected all the ones that we want to delete, we just click on the little delete button right here. Now I have 12. So I still need to get rid of four of them. I'll get rid of these and one more. Okay, so now I have eight slides right here. I have all different colors. I'm just going to change and add one more green because I have three pink, two black, two yellow. So let's make this one green. So for this, I'm going to change the text color and the background color as well to green. Now, if I go back to this view, I can see this very cool looking presentation. It is still a presentation, but the pro tip is this. If I use the magic resize button, and this is a pro feature, that's why I call this my pro tip, guys. It's a pro feature. What can I say? So resize and I'm going to go for an Instagram post. And in this case, you have two options. You can copy and resize. So you will keep the original one in the presentation format. But in this case, I don't need to keep that presentation format. So I'm just going to resize this now. You have your eight posts basically in the Instagram format and it becomes a multi-page Instagram post. You can, of course, do some tweaking, make the text a little bit bigger. I'm not going to do this in this video, but you can adjust this. But the magic resize will do the heavy lifting for you. All right, let's move on with what's hot with Canva. The next thing I want to talk about is a photographer highlight. I have been doing this in the two previous episodes and you guys loved it. We received some really positive comment about this. Today, I want to introduce Kat Gaskin. So Kat Gaskin is a graphic designer slash photographer slash content creator. And she has created a very cool blog called the Content Planner. But what I really like is that she's a traveler. And in these times where it's hard to get out of your country and even harder to get into another country like me here in Australia, we absolutely cannot get out. I'm not complaining, but I miss the palm trees of the exotic countries I used to go to. So Kat Gaskin has all these cool travel photography that she's contributing to the Canva library. A lot of palm trees. She really has a thing for pineapples as well. Like she likes to photograph pineapples. I really like her style. It's really refreshing and I could really see how this would work fantastically with some Canva presentations or some Canva design, Instagram posts or anything really inspirational. For example, this palm tree right here with the very beautiful gradient sky. So how to use these photos once you discover them? Well, first, I remember you guys were asking, where can we find these photographers? Well, we will leave a link to Kat Gaskin's profile on Canva in the description. So just click on the link. And once you get here to this profile page, you can simply heart the photos you like, and then they will show up in your liked folder, or you can click on it and you can use that in a design. And you can also add that to a folder. But I'm going to use it in a design. You will have to specify which design you want. I want to use this in a story, for example, Instagram story. So Canva is going to open it in my story. And there you go. All you have to do is to add an inspirational quote here and you are good to go. So I highly recommend you check out Kat Gaskin's photography in Canva. Once you have used one in your design, like I did right here, you can click on the little info button and you will see view more by Kat Gaskin. 
So this is how you make them all appear here in your search, in your photo library right here from Canva. And that is our photographer highlight for the week. All right, now moving on to the next section of this video, I want to talk about two new features. The first one is a collaborative feature. So let's say I'm going back to a design that I have created for a previous tutorial, this animated Facebook ad tutorial that I did last week. So if you haven't watched this one, I will leave a link here on the top of your screen so you can click here on the card and access the tutorial. We created two very cool animated Facebook ads for your newsfeed. But what I want to show you is that new feature and the feature allows you to assign a task in Canva to one of your teammates. So for example, I have these two ads and I want to let Diana know. So for this, you will need to make sure that your design is being shared with your team. So in my team here, I have Diana. So it's been shared. You see, my team can edit this design. So that's the first thing you need to make sure of that your design is actually shared. Next, what I can do, I will just simply right click, add a comment on one element and I will say, could you create more variables? of this ad with different animals. Okay, and I want to assign this to Diana. So I will just use the, the at and then Diana like so, and then Diana's name will show up and you can just click on it. And then you'll see this little box popping up, assign to Diana Munoz. We'll invite your at mention to this design and send an email. So I'll tick this box and add the comment. And now it is assigned to Diana Munoz. So this is how you can assign different tasks and you can really start to collaborate deeper in Canva because you can leave notes, you can leave instructions to someone who is working in your marketing team and helping you with the creation of the design. So this is the first new feature I wanted to show you. The second feature I want to show you that can add some fun to the way you organize your files and your folders in Canva. So the new feature is called folder banners. So you can now create a banner banner for any of the folders that you have created in Canva. So for this, you can head over to all your folders and then you can select a folder. So I'm going to go to my team and check out my team's folders. So let's say I want to customize one of these banners. So what do we have here? We have Diana's Bitmojis. We have photos. I think I want to customize photo Diana. So this one has 12 items. Let's click on this. So these are photos of Diana. So this is a folder that I know she's using a lot. So I want to surprise her and customize this. So how do you do this? You see the three little dots right here? I can rename the folder. I can add a banner. See this new button? Click on that and look what's happening. Canva is opening a pop-up editor window. This is never seen before. So this is exciting, but it opens a banner size document and I can start creating a banner that will show in that specific folder. So it's pretty cool because you can now customize how everything looks in Canva. So I'm going to do this first. I'm going to go ahead and use one of Kat Gaskin's photos. Why not? Because it was so cool. So I'm going to insert this one and search with the I button more by Kat Gaskin because this is not the one I want to use, but I want to find something cool and exotic. Maybe this, this is nice. I'm going to use the photo there. But before I use this photo, I'm going to add a grid here. So I'm going to type grid. This will allow me to simply drop my photo here and I can go back and find my photo here in my recently used photos. Yeah, and I kind of like that I have the C here. Everything looks cool. Okay, so this is going to be my background and now I want to use Diana's Bitmojis here. I'm going to add one of Diana's where she's chilling. Let me delete these, delete this and delete this. I will have to restart what I was doing. So done. Just need to make sure the photo is not snapping in the grid by holding my command key. It unsnaps it from the grid. So make sure you hold the command key and I will double click on this photo here. Make this bigger and I'm going to reduce the size of this dock so I can really zoom in like so and I can move it like this. Zoom back in and see how it looks like. It's pretty funky. It's pretty cool. I'm going to move her a little bit to this side so that the title of the folder actually is still readable from here. And that's good to go. I'm going to save this and you will see the result in just a second. Canva is preparing the design and it should place this design in the banner of 
Diana photos folder. There we go. We have our banner. You see, because I left Diana kind of in the middle, like nicely centered in the middle, and I moved her a little bit because I knew that there would be this title of the folder coming right in the middle. So if you put something right underneath this, it doesn't look that good. I'm really happy about the result. So that's it. You don't need to share anything. The folder banner is saved, and you can do this for any of your folders. And this pretty much wraps up this episode number three of what's hot in canva i hope you liked it if you did smash that like button it will help us get more visibility with this video so more people can watch it and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet thank you for all the support we receive in the comments we are super happy to read them i do this every week without missing for anything in the world so thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video